八番。ガブリエラパパダキス。リオームシゼロン組。フランス。ナンバーエイト。レプゼンフランス。ガブリエラパパダキス。エンディオン。A dramatic entrance for the four time world champions, Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizerone. They won their 11th Grand Prix medal in France earlier this season, a gold that was their eighth gold on the Grand Prix. Very different take on the Finstep theme. Certainly a team that can push the boundaries and due to their talent and work ethic, <laughs> pull it off. Papadakis and Cesaro bringing the energy with that rhythm dance. Well, they kind of brought the crowd alive with that as well, right? I, that's exactly what I noted as well. I have to say, it really felt like the first time that the crowd was, was invested in a performance. And I think that's, that's one of the reasons why this program can work for them. Five-time European champions to go along with those four, four world championships, five-time French champions, uh, silver medalists at the Olympics, second only to Virtue and Moyer, and boy, they are really setting this standard. And Charlie, I'm, I'm curious, though, if this were an Olympic year, mm -hmm. you look at the costumes, not necessarily <laughs> the choice of the music, because fame is fame and it's fun, would they, would they, would they do this? Would it be risky? Why, why wouldn't they? No, I, I, I'm, I'm just teasing you. I, I, I totally, I get what you're saying, and I think I'm that, just wondering. I think that's a really good question. I think that's a fair question. I don't think they would do this in Olympic season. I, I think that this is something that, because it is an Olympic season, they, ha they feel like they have the opportunity to show personality, to maybe have more fun, to do something different. Uh, to be honest, it's not really like my style. Watching them 
I kind of wish that they were doing something else just because I know how good they are. This style requires them to be on two feet a little bit more and to hit the poses, to bring the character. It's just, you have to. Their skating skills are so strong, though. They, they have so much attitude. You can feel that they've bought into it. And so it makes you want to buy into it. And most importantly, the audience and the judges are really feeling it. I mean, they're one of a kind. Their ability to blend the technical and the artistic, I think, is, is just so outstanding. So even for me, I mean, it's just like fame. Just It's, it's not my favorite music, but I just I can't help but find myself enjoying this performance right. well I it's just, a campy approach exactly. to it too you know to the it, with the costumes it, I mean. it, it is but but they they win me over consistently and that's that's impressive i mean i can be i can be a little bit cynical when it comes to ice dancing but these two i think have a way of bringing everyone together regardless of of music choice or or performance but well done you can see just the strength the commitment her just her facial expression even going into that little ups and up like the little jump and in between they they have just so totally committed to it but also with the awareness i think that you have to i mean there's no halfway with something like this you can't look like you're doing just a skating program with with fame playing in the background so just a reminder for everyone that their rhythm dance score at Grand Prix France was 88.69 not just the highest rhythm dance score of the season it's the highest of all time <laughs> so let's see how today compares and we're just going to break another record we're just going to break our own record <laughs> <laughs> they're so used to breaking records <laughs> No, well deserved. You've been in that position before, though. What's it like to break your own record? Is it satisfying, it's, gratifying? It's, honestly, it's so satisfying, just because it feels like you're continuing to improve, and, and I do think that they are as well. First place.